double click the Evercade update zip file. You can just drag that to your desktop. Let that copy and you can close that. Then you get your new folder. Double click that. Now number one, install the driver. This is the firmware driver install. When you double click this, you're probably going to see the user account control, which is a yellow pop up. Make sure you just click yes. And then install driver. That should say OK. Press OK. You can close that. Then you can go back. Number two, get the update tool. Double click that, the update tool. Again, you'll get the yellow pop up. Just press yes. Right. Now, once you've opened this, take your Evercade. Make sure it's plugged into your laptop with the USB cable provided. Hold the menu button, then turn on the console. So USB cable in, menu button held down, switch on the Evercade. A couple of seconds, you'll see it pop up. It's found the device. Now click upgrade firmware, then the firmware button, then navigate to the firmware file. There it is. Evercade firmware 1.1, double click that. It'll then load up, then hit upgrade. It'll run the upgrade process. Once this is complete, everything's done. This usually takes less than 30 seconds. So the actual process of doing the upgrade is very quick. Once you've done it before, it'll be even faster next time. And that's it, the device will restart. Once it's done, you don't have to leave it switched on or anything. You can just plug out, pull out the USB cable, switch off the thing and you're complete. And you can hear my other kids firing back up now.